This is Jackson Hinkle of The Dive, and he's here to tell you why we need to stop this war. Jackson Hinkle! How's it going, Washington, D.C.? How we doing? Look at all of you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. We got leftists. We got communists, right-wingers, conservatives, paleo-conservatives, libertarians, greens, people party. We got everyone here today, and you look great. So listen. Listen. I know there's a little controversy about me speaking, but the truth is, the truth is, that we are here today because we oppose war and we want peace. It's as simple as that, okay? And when my ancestors came over to America on the Mayflower and they fought in the American Revolution, they didn't want war either. They wanted peace. When my grandfathers fought against Nazis in World War II and put their lives on the line, they did not want war. They wanted peace, and that's why we are here today. And war is not easy to talk about. Most of us have never experienced it. Some of us try to forget it. Some of us try to never even think about it because of how damning it is. And I, I don't blame most of you, but everyone here today thinks about it, understands how evil it is, and understands that the hell it truly raises. And if I can for a moment, I'd like to share a little bit of that hell with all of you right now. Because in Ukraine, 16 and 17-year-old boys, not men, but boys, are being rounded up by the hundred and sent to the front in Bakhmut. And you know what happens when they get there? They get sent into trenches and they're told, you have four hours to live once you get sent out there. That's the average life expectancy of a Ukrainian soldier on the front in Bakhmut, four hours. And the blood, the blood of those young men the blood of every Russian, the blood of those in Ukraine, in the Donbass, in Donetsk, Lugansk, Mariupol, the blood of those in Zaporozhye, in Kherson, in Kharkov, all across the region of fighting is on the hands of those in the United States Congress right now. The suits that they wear are drenched in their blood. The food that they eat is a blood stew. The halls of Congress that they go vote in to send 10 billion more dollars to Ukraine, the roofs are dripping with the blood of those Ukrainian soldiers. And if you listen closely, you can hear it right now. Damn. So I want to leave you with, I want to leave you with something right now because people often ask me, you know, what is it that we can do? We're on the precipice of World War III. What is it that we can do? We want peace with the Russians. We want to build a new multipolar world. We want peace. We want prosperity. We want to lift the global masses out of poverty. That's what we all want, right? But there's a select few. There's a select few who understand that if they take us to World War III, and if they toy around with the idea of mutually assured destruction, and nuclear Armageddon, and hundreds of thousands of lives being lost, they stand to make a lot of money. So, what I need you all to do from this point onward is to continue this energy you have here today. Fight the information war. Demand not one more bullet, not one more tank, not one more gun, not one more piece of artillery, not one more dollar, not one more penny be sent to the Nazis in Ukraine. Demand peace. Thank you all for being here. Continue this energy.